If, oh yeah, if the Cowboys are America's team, we'd have lost both World Wars. So... <laughs> All right, let's go around the table and uh, meet the squad. We got Scott Evans. It's town, let's go. Larry Richardson. What's up, guys? Let's get this. And Parker Smith. Let's go, guys. Top three overrated NFL teams. Loudon, start us off. This is easy. Number three. Uh, well, I had I had kind of a two honorable mention. I'm gonna go with the Bears, just because of Mitch Never. Trubisky. Um, <laughs> I just don't like. I understand their defense is solid, and I respect their defense. Um, I just don't know what that offense, how, like, and I know that, I feel like a, peop, a lot of people have some high expectations. Um, I just don't think that that offense can pull through. I don't think Mitch Trubisky himself can be above average. We're, we're going to see this year, but who are his receivers? Like, Tariq Cohen is his number one running back right now. He's gone. I mean, oh, is he, did he leave? He got no, traded. Tariq Cohen. Not Tariq Cohen. That's Jordan Howard. Oh, Jordan Howard. Yeah. Cohen's in there. Got a new rookie. Jordan Howard's for the Eagles now, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so Tariq Cohen, good luck, guys. Like you got a you got a five four running back as your starting <laughs> as your starting running back. I mean, y'all better draft somebody. Well you, wait, you we didn't draft. Oh no, you did. You got a rookie. Okay, so we really hope that he steps up. I don't. I hate the Bears. So. Um, <laughs> Cool. Number two uh, is definitely the Pittsburgh Steelers. Just yeah. the just the entire um, tradition and like the 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 atmosphere that the Steelers have and what they've had for the past ten years. I think a lot of people respect the Steelers. I think you know going into a game that can be a bit intimidating. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers, the fandom that goes behind the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I mean, especially after last year, I mean they don't have Le'Veon yeah. Bell, they don't have Antonio Brown. So I think this is just more of a train wreck waiting to happen. Like. It's only going to go downhill from where it went last yeah. year. There's no way that can be better. Juju can step up, but Ben Roethlisberger is getting older, um, and they just the young talent on that team is gone now. The the two best players at their positions, arguably, are now gone off of that team. Yeah. So, and the defense is suspect. So, I just don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be able to pull out and, and do what they did last year. Um, number one, and this was easy for me. It's the freaking Packers. <laughs> I, I hate the Packers. And so this was very easy for me. Freaking Packers. They, Aaron Rodgers last year just showed us that he is uh, not, not a god. He's, he's a man. <laughs> he's not who we thought they were. Um, he's, he's vulnerable. He has weaknesses. And, and I know that there, he had some issues with his coach and stuff. And he, they got rid of him. But how, tell me how that situation is going to get better now. Because he has to read. And he's already had issues with his new coach, too. Exactly. That's what I, so, yeah, there's news out that he's already just their, the way, their mentality, the way they, they're kind of thinking mm-hmm. the offense should go is a little bit different already. So there's already friction. We've seen him messing up and, and have some issues. And then, I mean, Devontae Adams was not at his best last year. I don't even know who their running back <laughs> is anymore. Like, this, the offense is just suspect again. Like, And then defense – yeah. is okay. So I, I want them to, f- to crash and burn, um, and I don't think they're going to be as good as every – I mean, just again, you think of the Packers. Oh, my gosh, it's the Green Bay Packers. It's Aaron Rodgers. But, no, th- I mean, it's yeah. only going downhill from there. So crash and burn. I win. Go. Okay, so I'll go next. Um, so like Loudon, he had him as the number one. I have them as my number three. I have the Packers. Mm. And so just all the reasons he said, Aaron Rodgers is way overrated in my opinion. Uh, we got to see exactly kind of what he was made of last year. Also, I think about the kind of comparison. Jimmy Graham goes from having Drew Brees and having like a Hall of Fame career and then going to the Packers and not doing well at all, completely looks like trash, still one of the highest paid tight ends but not really earning his money, only has two touchdowns last year uh, in the red zone. And so it was a terrible year for the Packers. They did get some help this offseason by signing a few Smiths. Uh, in, on defense, but I still don't think that they're going to be anything with their, what people project them to be just because they have Aaron Rodgers. He does not say the day. I can't tell you any of their uh, receivers, really. I think they got one person still. Um, and so, yeah, I think they're just overrated. And then number two, I'm going with the Texans. They always seem... <laughs> They always seem to to be saying like, "Oh, this is our year to go yeah, to the Super Bowl," that's true. and that's and then that's, <laughs> that's what I'm going up next. But uh, <laughs> the Texans, yeah, and so they never do anything in the playoffs. They always get beat by the Colts oh, or some. They win in the first round, and that's it. Yeah. And then you that, meet Tom Brady and the boys. Yeah. So they either meet they Tom Brady out. or they meet the Colts. And I mean, their their only good player is DeAndre Hopkins, and he got outshone by Ty. Oh, JJ uh, Watt has entered the conversation. Oh, when he's healthy, and so when JJ Watt oh, is healthy, last year. last year, yeah, 
Um, and, and what happened there? The defensive player of the year. And what did the Texans How do? How many years ago? Yeah. Jeez. Got knocked out by Brady. Yes. And so I just don't think the Texans, there's, they have a lot of known players, but they never actually go anywhere. Um, and so still as great as JJ Watt has, even in his best years, they were nowhere near He's going to an AFC championship water. or, uh, or but he will say Whataburger. <laughs> and the number one is another Texas team. It hurts me to say this, but it's the Cowboys. Yeah, and they always say, outrage. they always say they're going to win the Super Bowl this year. This is going to be their year. And then they go eight and eight okay. or seven and nine or nine and seven. Or maybe 10 and six. <laughs> 10 and six this past year in a muddled division that left it wide down. open because of the, because of the Eagles. And then. They end up making it barely, <laughs> and they end up winning one playoff game, and so you kind of get some hope. They beat the Seahawks, which was a, an incredible feat. Glad they didn't just screw it up like they used to do, like they did with the Packers and the Dez catch. And so it was a catch. Catch. Oh, it was, it a, was catch. a catch. catch. The they can't get over this. Was that was that play a catch or not a catch? They came back and admitted that it was a catch. Cowboys every year though say this is our year. We're going to Super Bowl. Haven't won in 25 plus years. Haven't been to the Super Bowl in 20 plus, 25 plus years. So those are my awesome. teams. Bears went to the Super Bowl. 2005, they lost with Levy Smith. They lost, so. To the Colts. But they were there. They but they were the there. That the Cowboys are overrated this year. This is the, the best roster they've had in years. But you say that every year. They say that every year. I, I, I thought we were trash two years ago. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't saying this was our year two years ago. I, w- I will say it this year. This is like <laughs> year. <laughs> Last year was their I'm year. Not, I'm not fighting you on that. The year before was their year. You have to admit, we Tony Romo was the best, best quarterback rosters. ever. We have one of the best rosters coming up that we have had in a very They long. are undoubtedly the Tony Romos of the league right there. Hashtag not good enough. Tony Romo is amazing. Hashtag Scott, <laughs> Scott, yeah, Bears, Bears game, Cowboys game, week, what is that, 14? 14. Going Let's see it. Going Let's make bets off of that. Hey, man, and uh, I'll bring some peace to this. Actually, by bringing peace, I think I'm going to step on a few toes here. This hurts for me because I was born in Chicago. I'll hop on the bandwagon when they get to the Super Bowl. But they won't because they're my number three overrated team. (laughs) Just because he said that. They're not going. They're not going. They're my number three overrated team. Taylor Gabriel oh, is no. your number one wide yeah, receiver. No, oh, Allen Robinson. Oh, Allen Robinson, a stud for the Jacksonville Jaguars, an offensive juggernaut. Yeah, is he the first Bears receiver to have over a thousand yards in like yeah. seventy-five years? No, uh, we had a few with uh, Brand Marshall. No, and uh, Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, forget the glory days. But anyway, <laughs> the Bears. They are an offensive hodgepodge of nobodies. Mm. Mitch Trubisky. You want Mitch Trubisky? Okay, let's talk about 12 and 4. Because let's talk about 12 and 4. What happened? Hmm, the Vikings. Injury. Collapse. The Lions. They're the Lions. And a brand new head coach. The Packers. Complete crap storm. Injuries and bad coaching and everything. The Bears took advantage... Are you going to argue that... Who are you? That those are the Texans division. Oh, let's see. Andrew Luck and the Colts. Oh. Andrew Luck just got rid this past year. Again, after he was hurt for two or three years in a row. Five. Five, five, five. five. <laughs> 20, five. 20 years. Who are the other your division? In the, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Who had the... Bulls. That's fair. That's a, that's a good and point. then who's the other last one? I can't. I'm just going blank on Oh, let's see. It was the 9-7 and seven Titans. Oh, who had a winning record? That's fair. That's fair. But the Bears got plucked on defense. Yeah. Because they had a good defense, people came, started taking some players. Lost two people. One of them wasn't even healthy half the year. You've got nobody at running back. Tariq Cohen. Good luck. Name two of the offensive linemen for the Bears. Oh, no, yeah. We have uh, uh, uh-huh. Zoe, so he was a rookie last year. Uh huh. So well, so well. We have uh, so well here. So well. And we have Long as our our. All right, as much as I'd love to hear more of the offensive linemen for Chicago, let's get to your number let's two. Let's get it. So right. Chicago yeah. overrated. They're not going to do anything. They'll be great. They'll get to the playoffs, and then a kicker will blow it for them. Because oh wait, <laughs> they still haven't <laughs> found a kicker. <laughs> They literally had a competition, and seven kickers didn't make it. Number two, staying in that division, Green Bay Packers. Suspect at running back, suspect at defense, suspect at wide receiver. 
I mean, they've got a new coach. I just, I just don't see them doing anything this year. And my number one overrated team, Parker, I hope you can, you know, show some love to me for this one because I am also picking the Dallas Cowboys. How in the heck is Jason Garrett still a head coach? Because we went, we won the division last year. And he was the Seahawks. one of the two. What kind of one of the two? Carson Wentz was hurt. Um, let's see. Like Alex Smith broke, broke his leg earlier in the game, dude. The Giants, Alex Smith bro. broke the his Giants. leg. The Giants. The yeah, Giants. The Giants. Eli Manning won a couple Super Bowls. Yeah, they years ago. ago. The Dallas Cowboys are great if you love living in the past because they will remind you how many Super Bowls they have. But like Parker said, they haven't been to the Super Bowl in 25 years. That means my friend Loudon has been alive for one of those Super Bowls. Yep, made it. One. <laughs> here's, here's my question. How can you be an overrated team if you are known all across the nation as America's team? If you're known as America's team, how can you be overrated? Because how can you be America's team if you're consistently going nine and seven? Man, it, but people it's still, but the, but the Cowboys, the Cowboys brand that Jerry Jones has built is so great that even if you go eight and eight or nine and seven, you, you are still America's team. Because you're they're still they're America's team. Because they have this brand, they have Jerry Jones. Everybody knows the Cowboys, but yet their play on the field, mediocre. They're yes, still America's they team. If, oh yeah, if they the Cowboys are America's team, we'd have lost both World Wars. So <laughs> yes, they have a good roster. Not great. Jalen Smith is one of. fall away <laughs> from breaking his knee again. So okay, let's 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 get off this bandwagon and let's see what Aaron actually thinks is the three overrated teams. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go quick here. Uh, Atlanta Falcons are my number three. Every single year on the beginning of the year, you got Matt Ryan, which I, I think he's overrated as a quarterback. Great in regular season, I, I think he's not great in playoffs. So, Great yeah. offensive yeah. juggernaut yeah. teams. They can run the ball, throw the ball, um, but defensively they're suspect at best. Um, they lose a lot of close games that are uh, kind of the Saints. You know, they're 30 to 25 or 40 to 35, you know, those high scoring games, but defensively they Trash. they don't hold up. I, I, number two, I put the Cleveland Browns. I think there's a lot of talk of sauce about how great the Browns are going to be. I think it's a lot. I, I, think, I think it's a lot of great individual athletes, but when you look at them as a team in, in a whole perspective, I think they're going to underachieve. I think you got a lot of great players that doesn't mean you're going to be a great team. So I think I think they're going to be an under 500 team, uh, not make the playoffs. That's my take on Cleveland. Number one, I got the Steelers. Um, I know they were mentioned earlier. Um, by Loudon, but to me, they they got an aging Ben, ben Roethlisberger, don't have Antonio Brown. Uh, they're a team that I think is on the decline. Their era, um, as, it, as it stands now, is coming to a close. Mm -hmm. And so I've got Pittsburgh, um, number one. They're in a pretty weak division, you know, so I mean, they don't have a whole lot of competition. They got a Baltimore team, you know, they got Cleveland there and things like that. But I, I think that overall, they may be still in the division, but, but I think uh, they're on the decline for sure. So I got Pittsburgh, Steelers is my number one overrated NFL team. I like it. Makes sense. That'll do it.